Welcome, everybody, SBR Sports Picks. We're talking Copa America. That's right, soccer. A big tournament coming up. I'm joined today by Jamie James, Double J, as he's known in the industry. He did a, a video with me a couple weeks ago about betting soccer because I know nothing about it. So first and foremost, glad to have you back, Double J. Copa America, big tournament, what, 10 teams? Oh, well, great to be back here, uh, Mike. Um, Copa America. Copa America. Copa America. This is what this is. 16 teams, uh, 10 teams from South America, uh, and then we've got six other teams invited. Uh, being played in the United States, uh, all the way from the East Coast, the West Coast, and uh, in between. So, great, great tournament. Where's the angles of betting that can really, really, you know, be sharp and beat that bookie to where, you know, one might not think, oh, wait a minute, I didn't think of that angle. In a tournament like this, does that come from, like, a prediction who's going to win the tournament or group play, or is it just simply going game by game, choosing sides or totals? Well, I mean, um, for, I, I think totals are great. You know, total goals, I mean, um, this is a very passionate tournament. I mean, these guys are crying when they're doing the national anthem. This is not like a European, like, you know, an England team that can barely, you know, know the words of his own national anthem mumbling away. <laughs> I mean, these guys are crying when they're doing the national anthem. They're attacking players. Uh, they're trying to put a show on. Uh, it's in the first time ever. It's in the United States of America. Wow. They want to put a show on these guys. I think totals, they'll be set about two and a half, the total number of goals. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be all over goals, goals, goals. Wow. Wow. Okay. The passion. <laughs> I like that because I'm a big time believer in getting the edge mentally, you know, in whether it be football, baseball, hell, I don't care if it's woman softball, getting that edge mentally. I think that plays in when you were mentioning the passion of, of singing their national anthem or whatever it may be. That goes a long way because that translates right onto the field. Am I correct? Absolutely. I mean, um, like Luis Suarez last week when he was playing in the um, Copa del Rey, a domestic um, cup final in uh, Spain, mm -hmm. uh, he got uh, injured in the 56th minute, he came off and he was crying. And the first thing he said was like, I hope I can play for uh, Uruguay, you know? He, he had Copa America on his mind at this wow. big domestic... Wasn't even worried about his body, but he was. He just wants to play for his country. Absolutely. And, wow. um, That's uh, passion. Uh, yeah, passion, absolutely. That's passion. And, uh, I mean, um, these games can get a bit feisty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can mm -hmm. get a little bit aggressive. Uh, so a good little total bet, prop bets, like betting on the number of yellow cards. Ah, really? Uh, yeah, okay. red cards, absolutely. They can fire in. Uh, some of these referees, a little bit laissez-faire. They let things go. Uh, but they like getting the card out. And okay. uh, when that card... So they do. They have prop bets for how many times? the yellow card comes out. Yes, absolutely. Gosh, I like that. That's a nice yeah. angle. Now, with that being said, the first game is USA versus Columbia. That's Any right. Any call, what do you believe? This is going to be at Levi Stadium in San Francisco. So, United States team against Columbia. Now, my wife's from Columbia, and I, they love their football, their soccer over there. Um, who's got the edge here? Who do you think is going to cash that ticket, and how? Oh, I don't know. This is one is a tricky one. If I have to uh, say it, I'm going to probably be upset a lot of guys at home and maybe yourself here, but I'll have to go for Columbia. Okay. I would take them minus one and a half goals. Um, I really want America to advance into the later stages of the tournament. I don't even know they do that. Wow. I mean, okay. when they're playing there at the Levi Stadium, it's going to be a... You would think that would give them some kind of boost, but I think Columbia might come in as silent killers, you know, because the time I spend in Columbia, the, that football is so serious over there. I mean, when they make a coaching change and everything, it's like politics. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so absolutely. who knows? Columbia could come in there and just kind of clean that clock. You yeah, think? absolutely. Yeah, there'll be a lot of Colombians in that stadium. Believe wow. me, they travel well. They'll be there. It'd be like a... It'd be a great atmosphere. God, oh, that's going to be I would be love to go to one. I've never been to oh, one. Oh, yeah. like I, I would love to as well. The passion that comes through from these uh, players. and uh, Oh, it's, it's an elite tournament. It's one of my favorite tournaments. And uh, yeah, I like the totals. I like betting on that. Um, and, so you uh, like Colombia, though, to cover, and it would be minus? I would take a minus one and a half. Yeah, wow, I reckon they big. beat them by two goals. You get wow. about, I'm just, as now a what? former odds maker, I'd say that'd be about... Plus 500, plus 560. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, and we will, we'll definitely get the opening and we'll, we'll put that yeah. on the video. But I like that angle. Now, with that being said, Double J, who do you think possibly could come in and grab this tournament in, as a whole and be the champion walking out when the Copa is all done? La Salle. What? La Salle. You got to be kidding me. Costa Rica. Wow. I mean, a bit of wow, a. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> right here in our hometown of Costa Rica. For uh, real. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? I mean, they got a great team. They got uh, Joel Campbell, a striker. He's fired up. And, and, and don't forget, they're still riding off of that momentum from the World Cup, okay? Because Costa Rica, when the World Cup happened and Costa Rica advanced like they did, nobody saw it coming. This place was crazy. They love their soccer here as well. So you like Costa Rica. Yeah. What are the odds on them winning uh, the tournament? Plus 5,000. Wow. Plus 
plus a big payback. Yeah, wow. of course, absolutely. I mean, you got to take it. I mean, Argentina favorites. You now, know. you're not just saying that because you're in the studio here in Costa Rica. You're favoring them, are you? Uh, I mean, I'm not putting the uh, I'm not putting a farm on this play. Okay. I mean, this is a this but is a. But you think it's worth a decent couple unit play, maybe? Absolutely. You know, yeah. you know, I love value. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to play Argentina at plus one eighty eight. You know, okay. for for an eventual tournament winner. Yeah. You know, plus five thousand. Give me that all day long. Another play that you need to do is Alexis Sanchez uh, from Chile uh, to be the top goal scorer in the whole tournament. Really? So that means he's going to score the most goals in the whole tournament. You'll get plus 1,200 on that. Uh, Messi injured his back last night. I heard that. Uh, I heard he, that. Yeah, I mean, wow, wow. you're going to see Messi in America. It's yeah. amazing. Huh? I know. Uh, that guy's amazing. I love his work ethic. Because yeah. in trying to find out how this works in betting, I've been doing some research, and I just love a good athlete that plays for heart and would, you know, money doesn't drive him. He's that guy. Yeah, it is. So what's his status? Is he well, going to be available? Well, I don't know. that uh, He had an MRI scan last night. He's got to go back to Spain as well. But, uh, he's got some tax problems going on. Okay. Uh, so he's flying Whoa. back there. Yeah, so he's got to go back there. He's got to fly all the way back to California from um, Barcelona. Wow. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. And then you've got Suarez injured there at Uruguay. I mean, these are the top goal scorers, right? Wow. But Sanchez, I think, will sneak in there. Uh, bear in mind, Chile are the holders as well. Okay. I mean, Chile travel. Uh -huh. I mean, when those, you want to see a national anthem? Yeah. You, you watch Chile. Wow. I mean, Amazing. their fans are fantastic, and uh, I believe he's going to be the top goal scorer. And again, that's plus 1,200. Plus 1,200. Wow, yeah. that's good value. Okay. That's good value. Okay, viewers, you heard it. Double J, he's got a good take on this Copa America tournament. That's Copa taken, America. Copa America <laughs> that's taking place. Again, he likes Colombia, all right, to win by more than one and a half goals against USA, and that's probably going to be about plus 500 Easy. or more, yeah. okay? And for the tournament as a whole, he likes Costa Rica cashing that ticket plus 500. Thousand. Now, a nice prop bet is Alexis Sanchez to be the leading goal scorer throughout the tournament, and that right there is paying back plus 1,200. Double J, thanks so much for the insight, for the edge, and for your time. Viewers, cash that ticket. We'll be back again with Double J. Thanks very much.